Ladies and gentlemen, the Railroad Hour. And here comes our star-studded show train. Tonight, the Association of American Railroads brings you the world-famous Jerome Kern, Oscar Hammerstein II, Edna Ferber musical, Showboat, starring Gordon McRae and his celebrated guest, Dorothy Kirsten. Our choir is under the direction of Norman Luboff, and our music is prepared and conducted by Carmen Dragon. Yes, tonight, another great musical success is brought to you by the American Railroads, the same railroads that bring you most of the food you eat, the clothes you wear, the fuel you burn and all the other things you use in your daily life. And now, here is our star, Gordon McRae. Thank you, Marvin Miller, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight, Dorothy Kirsten will be the lovely Magnolia, and I will be Gaylord Ravenel. But the leading character in Showboat isn't a lovely lady or a riverboat gambler. He's a great old man who never speaks but tells a million stories. There's an old man called the Mississippi. That's the old man that I want to be. What does he care if the world's got troubles? What does he care if the land ain't don't look up and don't look down You don't dare make the big boss frown Bend your knees, bow your head And pull that rope until you're dead Let me go away from the Mississippi Let me go away from the white man born Show me that stream called the River Jordan. That's the old stream that I long to cross. Old Man River, that old man. You must know something, but don't say nothing. He just keep rolling, he keep on rolling along. Oh, that river keeps on rolling along. He don't plant taters, and he don't plant cotton. And then what plant some is soon forgotten. But old man river, he just keep rolling along. You and me, we sweat and strain, body all aching and racked with pain. Hold that bar and lift that bill. Get a little drunk and you land in jail. Oh, gets weary and sick of trying. I'm tired of living. Captain 
After the show that night, the showboat sat on the silent river, asleep in the moonlight. And then I saw her. A girl, a lovely girl, standing on the upper deck. Hello. Hello. Do you live here? No, I'm just a wayfarer along the river. So am I. Are you one of the actresses on the showboat? No, but I'd give anything if I could be. Why? Because you can make believe so many wonderful things that never happen in real life. Oh, but wonderful things do happen. Why, I was standing here in the levee, feeling blue. Suddenly, I looked up, and I saw you. Why can't we make believe we know each other? Oh, yes. And we haven't seen each other for 75 years. There's a play Papa puts on just like that. Oh, 75 years is too long. Well, let's imagine we've just met. But we really have. Yes, but let's just suppose we've fallen in love at first sight. All right. Good. The game of just supposing is the sweetest game I know. Our dreams are more romantic than the world we see. And if the things we dream about don't happen to be so, that's just an unimportant technicality. We could make believe I love you. We could make believe of mind in pretending Couldn't you Couldn't I Couldn't we Make believe our lips are blending In a phantom kiss for two Wait a minute. Don't run away. I, I don't even know your name. Julie, Julie, I gotta talk to you. Wanola, well, honey, what's wrong? Julie, you're the only friend I have on the showboat. Ma doesn't understand me, and Papa always too busy with the shows. You're in love. My baby lamb's in love. How did you know? Oh, I can spot that look. Who is he, honey? I don't know. He was standing on the wharf, and I was standing on the top deck, and he looked so different from everybody else, and so beautiful. Your poor lamb. Julie, he said he liked me. Do you think he meant it? I don't know, honey. Suppose he turned out to be, well, just a no-account river fella. But if I found he was a no-account, I'd stop loving him. Oh, no, you wouldn't. Once a girl starts to love a man, she don't stop so easy. It's like you always sing when we're together on our walks. Fish gotta swim and birds gotta fly. I gotta love one man till I die. Can That's it, Nola. That's the idea. Tell me he's lazy. Tell me he's slow. Tell me I'm crazy. Maybe I know. Can't help loving that man of mine. Oh, Nola, my poor Nola.
baby lamb, my poor baby lamb's in love. All right, everybody. We got a little problem here. We got to figure out how we're going to do a show tonight without a leading lady or a leading man. No leading lady. What happened to Julie, Papa? Mm, she and her husband got into a little trouble with the law, so they they had to leave the showboat. Julie? Well, now, now, Nola, you mustn't cry. I'm giving you the chance to play our leading lady. Oh. Well, you know all the parts. Well, how about a leading man, Captain Andy? Well, I met a fellow on the dock. Looks just like a gentleman. So I thought I'd take a chance and hire him, uh, temporarily. Captain Mandy? Ah, here's the fellow I meant. I'd like to have you meet my daughter, Magnolia, Mr. Uh, Mr. Ravenall, sir. Gaylord Ravenall of the Tennessee Ravenall. Well, we uh, better get started rehearsing. Uh, here's a script, Mr. Ravenall. Yes, sir. <clears throat> now, uh, this is a love scene. She smiles and you fall in love with her. You think you can do that? Shall we begin? My beloved, will you be mine? Oh, no, no, nothing like it at all. Uh, more feeling. Uh, you love her. This isn't make-believe, Miss Nola. My beloved, will you be mine? That's you, Nola? Oh, gay, gay. Oh, thank you for meeting me. Nola and the starlight and the river. I can't stay long. If Ma caught me meeting with you like that... We haven't that... much time. Listen, I want to marry you. In Greenville tomorrow. But what will my father say? Why, he's the one who gave me the idea. Oh, Nola, I want you all to myself. I want to take you to places and show you new cities and theaters. All the sights. Are you sure I can always mean as much to you as I do now? Always. Oh, Nola, don't you understand? in just a moment for Act Two of Showboat. The nation's capital is a busy place tonight as the finishing touches are being put on the preparations for the inauguration tomorrow of the new President of the United States. And commenting on this great event, here is William T. Farrisee, President of the Association of American Railroads, speaking from Washington. In the nation's capital tonight, we await what has always been regarded not only as one of the most colorful ceremonies, but also one of the most important events in American political life. For tomorrow, this nation will inaugurate a new president, a man whom a few brief weeks ago, the American people freely elected to the highest office in the land to guide our country's destiny in the years ahead. To take part in this historic ceremony, Thousands of people from every part of the United States have already gathered here in Washington. Tomorrow, the Capitol will be the very hub of our nation, with people here from the North, the South, the East, and the West. These people come from every walk of American life, 
They represent every race and every religion. That is why the inauguration stands as a living symbol of the unity of our people. And even as the thousands of visitors from everywhere represent our national unity, so too do the railroads that have brought them here. For the railroads and the country grew up together, and it is the rails of steel that tie together the vast regions of America. Tonight, trains continue to speed across the land, bringing more people than ever before to an inauguration. Tomorrow, these people will participate here in Washington in the excitement and the dignity of the ceremonies of the day and will be joined by the entire nation in wishing success to the new President of the United States. Now here is Act Two of Showboat, starring Gordon Macrae and Dorothy Kirsten, with Jack Kirkwood as Captain Andy. There's an old man called the Mississippi. That's the old man that I'd like to be. Dear Julie, this letter is to tell you about the passing years, as changeable as the river. When I married Gaylord Ravenel, it was like springtime on the river. Life beginning. Chicago is yours, Nola. I give it to you. You've won again. <clears throat> Luck is my middle name. Oh, Nola, we're in the big city, away from the nickels and the dimes of the showboat days. You're happy. Oh, Gay, why shouldn't I be? I have the most wonderful husband in the world. I love you. Why do you love me? Why should there be two happy as we? Can you see the why or wherefore I should be the one you care? found a note from him in your room in a boarding house. Do you know, by the time you read this letter, I will be gone. There's nothing left to pawn and no friends to borrow from. I'm enclosing $200. This will let our baby, our Kim, finish her term at the convent. I'm going to stop there long enough to give Kim one last kiss. Your own game. Kim. Daddy. Oh, baby, baby. Where's Mommy? Uh, Mommy couldn't come today. Now, listen, Kim, dear. Daddy's in a great hurry. He, he must catch a train. Where are you going? Away. Uh, for a little while. On business. Can I go with you? No, dear. Not this time. While I'm gone, I, I want you to think of me once in a while. Will you? I think of you all the time. And when I miss you, I always do just what you told me. What was that? Don't you remember? I make believe. Oh, yes, that's right. I gave you a system for having anything you want. Only make believe. I'm near you. Only make believe that you're and boys find it fun just between 
pretending Couldn't you, couldn't I, couldn't we And Kim, if I'm a little late coming back You just remember and pretend I've never gone away Will you, sweetheart? Yes, Daddy Good, oh, that's good Best of all, make believe I love you. For to tell the truth, I do. Goodbye, darling. Oh, Julie, the day I walked into the Trocadero in Chicago looking for a job, I saw you there like a memory out of the past. You were sitting up on the piano singing a tune I've sung so often since because I can't get it out of my mind. I used to dream that I would discover the perfect lover some. I'd recognize him if ever he came round my way. I always used to fancy then he'd be one of the godlike kind of men with a giant brain and a noble head like the hero's bold in the books of but a long bill Who's not the type at all You'd meet him on the street And never notice him His form and face His manly grace Are not the kind That you would find In a statue And I It's surely not his brain that makes me thrill. I love him because he's wonderful, because he's Then you turned, Julie, and you saw me. Nola. Can it be little Nola from the showboat? <laughs> yes, Julie. Nola, honey, what are you doing here? Looking for a job. Singing, maybe. Well, stand up. Sing for them, Nola. Sing one of the old showboat songs. All right. There's one you taught me, Julie. Fish got a swim. Gotta fly. I gotta love one man till I die. Oh, Nola, that's good showboat. This is a ragtime town. Ten hell, loving that man of mine. Tell me he's lazy, tell me he's slow. Lazy. Tell me I'm crazy, maybe I know. Ten hell, loving that man of mine. <laughs> Welcome home, Nola. It's good to have you back aboard the Cotton Blossom. It's home, Papa. Yeah, the show's leaving out in a minute, and there's somebody in the audience I want you to see. Who, Papa? Oh, no, not so fast. Ah, here are our customers. Yeah, a few old friends, maybe. Nice show, Captain Andy. Oh, thank you, thank you, my friend. And here's... Hello, Nola. Gay. Is it really gay? I'm home, Nola. Why, isn't that your daughter, Captain Andy? Yes, ma'am. That's Nola. How do. I remember when you were leading lady on this boat. 
And that's your husband, isn't it? How do, sir? How do you do? I was here on this levy the day you were married. My, that was a real love match. Well, I'm glad to see it turned out so well, and you're still happy together. Good night. Good night, dear. Father, this is a, a nice surprise. Oh, no, honey. What can I say? Nothing, Gay. Just come up on the top deck where we used to stand and listen to the river. The river. It never changes, Nola. And my love never changes. I'll get weary and sick of trying. I'm tired of living and scared. Ladies and gentlemen, and our hearty thanks to lovely Dorothy Kirsten, and Jack Kirkwood, and Betty Lou Gerson, Helen Strom, Helen Van Tyle, and our entire company. Yes, sir, thank you very much for their wonderful performances in Jerome Kern and Oscar Hammerstein's musical play, Showboat, which was based on the novel of the same name by Edna Ferber, and was adapted for radio by Lawrence and Lee. The Railroad Hour is brought to you each week at this same time by the American Railroads. Marvin? Wouldn't you like to find a safe, convenient, profitable way to help make your family's future more secure? You do that and aid America's defense effort at the same time when you invest in United States defense bonds. Saving through defense bonds helps assure your long-range ambitions, owning your own home or business, sending your children to college, accumulating money for your retirement. And with new and improved interest features, defense bonds are now a better investment than ever before. Buy defense bonds regularly through the payroll savings plan where you work or the bond-a-month plan where you bank. And buy extra defense bonds whenever you can. When you do, you help your country and yourself. All aboard! Well, folks, it looks as though we're ready to pull out. And so until next week, when Dorothy Kirsten joins us again for The Merry Widow, this is Gordon MacRae saying goodbye. Gordon McRae can be seen starring in the Technicolor production, The Desert Song. Our choir is under the direction of Norman Luboff, and our music is prepared and conducted by Carmen Dragon. A portion of the preceding program was transcribed. This is Marvin Miller saying goodbye until next week for The American Railroads. Now keep tuned to your Monday night of music on NBC. NBC.